Abyssinian cat versus Sphinx cat. What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The Abai is often said to look as if he had just walked straight out of the wild. That's because of his ticked coat pattern, which resembles that of wild cats such as cougars. A ticked coat has alternating light and dark bands of color on each hair shaft. Everything about him suggests his lively, attentive nature. The Abai has a slightly rounded wedge-shaped head topped with large, broad ears, the better to hear you with. Large, almond-shaped eyes of gold or green express interest in everything they see. The muscular body is graceful and athletic. It falls into a middle ground between the stocky, or kabi, the body of a breed such as the Persian, and the long, svelte body of the oriental breeds such as the Siamese. The body is supported by slim, fine-boned legs atop small, oval, compact paws. Abais are often said to look as if they are walking on tiptoe. Swishing behind them is a long, tapering tail. Its bands of color give the abai's coat a warm, glowing appearance. To the touch, the medium-length hair is soft and silky with a fine texture. Bald, wrinkled, and pot-bellied, the Sphinx is sometimes proclaimed to be ugly, but only by those who have a shallow understanding of beauty. His unusual body shape and the physiological and emotional warmth he emits are what attract people to him. Much like an apricot, the hard, muscular body of the Sphinx can be smooth or covered with a fine, soft down. The nose, toes, ears, and tail may also have a light covering of fur. To hug him is to melt into the warmth of his suede-like coat. A Sphinx does not have a higher body temperature than other cats, but it seems like it because there is no fur to serve as insulation. A broad chest and a well-rounded abdomen give him the appearance of having eaten just a little too much at dinner time, but he should not be fat. Supporting the body are firm, muscular legs set on oval paws with long, slender toes. Thick paw pads make the Sphinx look as if he is walking on air cushions. A long, slender, flexible tail is described as a whip-like. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Of all the cat breeds, the Abyssinian is perhaps the one who lives life to the fullest. He climbs higher, jumps farther, plays harder. Nothing escapes the notice of this highly intelligent and inquisitive cat, a quality that makes life with him both endlessly entertaining and continuously challenging. Staying a step ahead of an abai, as the breed is nicknamed, or even just keeping pace with him, requires the fancy footwork of a Fred Astaire, the brain power of an Einstein, and a sense of humor that never stops. You never know what he'll get into next, although you can assume that if you have something or are doing something, your abai will want to investigate it closely. Some people refer to the cats as abai grabby because of their propensity for taking things that catch their interest. Sometimes it may seem as if the abai never sleeps. He is ever in motion, jumping up in the window to look at birds or squirrels, leaping on top of the refrigerator to supervise meal preparation, perching on your desk to watch your fingers move over the keyboard, and then swiping at them so you'll pay attention to him instead. This is a playful, persistent cat who adores being the center of attention and will do anything to achieve and maintain that status. The abai loves to play, so plans on making or purchasing a variety of toys to keep him occupied. Ping pong balls, bottle caps, wadded up pieces of paper, puzzle toys, and teasers such as big peacock feathers will all amuse this busy and brainy cat. Teach him to retrieve at your peril. Once you start, he won't let you stop. He learns tricks quickly and many abais enjoy running a feline agility course. A love of heights is a signal trait of the Abyssinian. He likes to be as high up as possible and will appreciate having one or more ceiling height cat trees. When those aren't available, he is perfectly capable of making his way to the uppermost point of any room. Fortunately, he is naturally graceful and rarely breaks items unless it is simply out of curiosity. Abais are adaptable throughout their lives and fit well into any home where they are loved and given plenty of attention. In a home where people are at work or school during the day, the abai does best with a companion, ideally another abai, who can match his activity level. If left to his own devices, the abai may well dismantle the house in his search for something interesting to do. Beware. The abai can be addictive. Once you've had one, you may find that no other cat will do. It's a good thing that the Sphinx loves attention because he draws it wherever he goes. He is demanding of human attention and will do anything for a laugh. Look at me. Is his catchphrase. That makes him easy to handle by veterinarians or anyone else, and it's not unusual for a Sphinx to be a therapy cat since he is so fond of meeting people. When he is not receiving the attention of his adoring fans, the curious and energetic Sphinx is exploring his surroundings, climbing his cat tree or otherwise seeking high places, chasing a bug, or just generally getting into mischief. 
He is extremely fond of teaser toys and puzzles toys that challenge his athleticism and brains. This is a highly social cat. If you are gone during the day, the Sphinx will enjoy having a friend in the form of another Sphinx, another cat, or even a dog. He likes the company and, equally important, he likes having someone to snuggle with so that he stays warm. He loves to be held, and you can expect him to sleep with you, most likely under the covers. Think of it as having a living hot water bottle. The short, fine coat of the Abyssinian is easily cared for with weekly combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. A bath when the cat is shedding will help to remove excess hair more quickly. Despite his bald body, a sphinx requires at least as much grooming as cats with fur and maybe even more. Their skin must be kept moisturized with a gentle, scent-free lotion or oil, and they need weekly baths so as not to leave greasy spots on your furniture and clothing. Use a gentle baby shampoo or moisturizing shampoo and rinse thoroughly, especially between the folds of the wrinkles. If you begin bathing your sphinx kitten while he is young, he will learn to accept and sometimes even enjoy baths. Baby wipes will help to keep him clean between baths. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a dirty box may cause them to start using other places in the house instead. It's a good idea to keep an Abyssinian and Sphinx as indoor-only cats to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The active and social Abyssinian and Sphinx are a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. They will play fetch as well as any retriever, learns tricks easily, and love the attention they receive from children who treat them politely and with respect. They are smart enough to get out of the way of toddlers but love school-aged children because they are a match for his energy level and curiosity. Nothing scares an Abyssinian, certainly not dogs, and he will happily make friends with them if they don't give him any trouble. Always introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.